With iOS 16, Apple is bringing a new lockdown mode, an extreme security measure that, when enabled, locks down the device to help keep you protected from specifically targeted cyber attacks. This new mode shows up as a toggle, and as I said before, is a truly extreme measure to enable. Most people don't need to do this, and enabling it actually limits what you can do with the device, with some apps and features being limited, and others totally disabled. This is far from a necessary tool for the average user, but individuals who are at an extremely high risk of cyber attacks can use it to remain in communication while limiting their risk. It seems like this mode is, at least in part, a response to the NSO group's Pegasus spyware, which has been used by state actors in targeted attacks. As I said, most people aren't at risk of this sort of attack, but for people that are, lockdown mode can be enabled by going into settings, then privacy and security, and clicking on lockdown mode, then hitting turn on lockdown mode. The screen notes that it is a quote, extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you may be personally targeted by a highly sophisticated cyber attack. When lockdown mode is enabled, there are a number of changes to device functionality. Message attachments, not including photos, are blocked. Link previews and messages are also disabled. You can't receive FaceTime calls from people who you haven't previously called. And when browsing the web, things like just-in-time JavaScript compilation are blocked. Though, if a specific and trusted site is excluded from lockdown mode, these scripts can run. Additionally, over in the Photos app, shared photo albums and invitations are blocked. Finally, wired connections are disabled while the device is locked, and configuration profiles can't be installed. Clearly, judging by this extensive list of affected services, enabling this mode isn't practical for most people, and it's not meant to be. While it's an easy to enable feature that will increase the security of the iPhone, most people need to make some trade-offs to balance their security and convenience, and lockdown mode is a pretty significant reduction in convenience. It is nice to see the added capability for people who really need it though. Now, usually when talking about a new feature like this, I'd ask if you plan to use it, but most of you probably don't, and if you need to, you probably shouldn't be talking about it online. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite new feature so far with iOS 16 is. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from 9to5Mac.